Hello everybody and welcome back to another winnerandweek.com session recording. Uh, that's three eggs in more or less. Yeah, woke up with King's here in the big. This guy raised, we take it down uncontested. This is a 2,000 euro uh, VIP free roll at Poker Heaven. And yeah, one of those tournaments that you guys will be able to qualify for when you're playing at their site. And here's a breakdown. I think this will be in the viewable area. Let's see if we catch a hand first. Uh, King 10 might steal, actually. If it's full around to us, just a quick background info the top five places get paid. So, um, yeah, next two guys who bust out, it's the same as the first guy who busted in the entire tournament. So, yeah, we're getting down the wire here. It's a um, huge bubble factor for sure at this point. Um, Okay, Re-steal pushes again. Uh, he had he had done me one time earlier here at this final table. Hmm. We're probably flipping, and you could maybe find a call there after the guy pushes for the second time. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's a tight one. You know, when you're so close to the bubble, you want to be able to make those kind of raises and let these guys lay down, and <laughs> you take it down and contest. That's the idea. Anyway, so for our steals, I guess we'll tighten up a bit, uh, especially since we're down to the last seven players of this tournament. Let's see, yeah, 64 is a big fold. We can look at our tournament here. All right. Yeah, so again, top five places get paid, 160 euros uh, to fifth place, zero euro buy-in, um, again, a qualifier. Uh, blind levels at 12 minutes, as you guys see here. The 17 is a five minute break on the hour. And yeah, with that loss, we just get knocked down a second. Let's have a look. She's nice. And again, two and a half times their open race size. And here, of course, we want him to come back over the top, but he does not. And yeah, I mean, we make two and a half x rays here and we call everything. Of course, we get these guys covered. And we can still play on loss if we lose. He does shove it. Please fold. And you show us ace queen. <laughs> uh, two queens are still 45%. Nice king hits. Excellent. Okay. So, yeah, we take the down. We're in a solid first place right now. Um, six players remaining. 160 euros for the next place. Um, that are the next guy that doesn't bust out. And we pitched that last hand. This guy raises again. King seven also it's a big fold and hopefully we can get into our analysis of the turning. <laughs> Another hand coming as real quick like. Okie doke. So we had how many players? 38 players total who had qualified for this event and we're down again to the last six. And at this point guys, I mean it's for all intents and purposes, when you get on a final table like this with um, yeah. <laughs> um, here we go, let's see if he does it again. This will be the third time that he pops it and with my a6, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, so I got a high fold to re-steal here. Uh, the fact this guy's thinking about it is not a good thing. Um, 45, so 2, 3, uh, 1 half to 1. Ace may be good here. If we lose it, we're still playing on, and we can knock him out of the tournament. Spadesies? Nice. Oh. That's um, pretty sick. I gotta throw in, sorry. Um, yeah. <laughs> Again, guys, that was an odds call. Um, We can look at that in the replay afterwards. Um, I just actually installed uh, Holder Manager 2, uh, the upgrade, and that's why the, the stats look a little bit funky here. Uh, and they are <laughs> they are a bit all over the place. But um, let's see here if we can't get these stats to work out right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, yeah, and this is really, really basic. I haven't updated you know, our HUDs yet, but uh, hopefully in the coming yeah, coming 
a couple days. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. A little distracted. We've got now a solid first. Everybody's paid out. But again, um, the differences in payout, and there you go. That's quite, quite huge, as you guys see here, right? So the deeper we can get, the better. Uh, Ace 10 has him dominated, but yeah, we just had a huge suck out, uh, as you guys saw. And this time, math holds, and the Ace 10 takes it down. Let's get another guy gets knocked out, and at this point, I mean, it's going real fast. Um, we're still looking real solid here. Uh, 79 in the small. Yeah, so down to four players. And that's always a good result here. Um, still in first, I and mean, we can flat that, but again, yeah, this guy can come over the top. We're not, we're not completing the betting round here. When we make that call, so I'm just gonna let that go and hope that Dong Pok whatever this is comes over the top does not and the 79 with the flop nonsense <laughs> uh, we're gonna pick up a draw here on the turn but again it's too soon this guy checks he should have bet that for sure um, yeah check call wow all right and there's the third diamond he checks again nice he's two and this guy had check ten Wow. Wow. So yeah, we're not, we're, <laughs> uh, it was pretty intense. Um, we're not too worried here about the competition at this point. This guy, I've got these guys blued. Uh, this one's actually a decent player. Um, he shoves all in right now. And again, the idea guys right here is to, yeah, always keep in consideration that when he pushes and somebody else calls and somebody busts, you make an extra 60 euros here. All right, so the uh, a6 is not the hand to call that with. Uh, ace4. Again, four-handed. I can go and raise that up, but you know, you don't have a lot of fold equity here, and you'll be flipping. So I'm, I'm just going to hang out for a second. I think this guy's getting a little trigger happy, and let's see if he didn't call that all in. <laughs> you know he wants to. Uh, he lets it go. Alright, yeah, I mean, you know, we got we got time here, guys. I can bring across our tournament calculator, which actually I might. Hang on a second. So he shoves, and the queen nine, I mean, <laughs> we, we probably got a call here. Um, But I'm gonna rock up here. I'm just you know, I'm listening to my gut. I think I think there's a mathematical call in that spot um, versus the entire shove range um, being so wild. But at the same time, you know we're looking at you know the the entire big picture here. And I'll just show you guys what the, the blinds look like. You guys saw it. It's every 12 minutes, right? The blinds are going up. So we got again. There's no rush from our side. He shoves again. That's all fine. Yeah, he's probably shoving 80, 90 percent. The queen nine could have been a call, but yeah, best case we're flipping. And you know we're one to one with this guy here, the other big stack player, and we'll get time. So I'm just yeah, relax, take your time, no biggie. Uh, again, just just eyeballing it, right? You put a ten on the back of that. That's ten big blinds that he shoves for here, just under eleven. And yeah, four thousand. So I mean, we got like, let's see, here. so four is gonna be at, right at twenty. You know, we're at we're at fifty big blinds ish. Uh, plus minus and, and looking good with the small with the small blind levels. So again, when you flat here and you know this guy is push crazy, don't um, don't go flatten <laughs> under the gun. You know, raise it and be willing to call all in because you know he's coming over the top by and large. Not always, but but probably. All right, and I think instead of pausing the video and coming back and forth, I'll just let this play out. Um, he the big stack player, right? The guy, the one guy that can knock us out of this tournament. Um, he raises up, and our call is yeah better than two to one, two and a half to one. And nine ten is something that we can actually change the game with if we hit hard, right? And we we flop the flush draw and the inside straight draw, and that's just really really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock it and hope like hell he's on ace king or ace jack or something like that, and he just let it go, and he does. I just take that down directly. That's good when we flat um, against the just image wise. We flat against the fellow big stack player, 
take a shot, you know, dunk it out there on the um, on the flop with a strong draw, and he lays it down. This guy comes over the top versus a big stack player that's often not going to be weak. So, yeah, you see here he called the jack four, flops the straight draw, and the flush draw, and inside straight draw, and no dice. So. Yeah, Ray Hay here, he takes one down, and that's not necessarily a good thing. I mean, he's he's been aggressive, and he might continue on with that. Um, i like to see this guy actually take that down, the more three-handed, but uh, he's back in the game now. <laughs> now the pressure's on this guy here to get knocked out in the next spot. And again, uh, next guy who busts gets 240, and it's a 60-buck difference, basically, between fourth and third place. All right, yeah, and I'll bring across the calculator here. Let's leave that up for you guys to have a look. Right, so we let go of the king six. This guy makes a steal raise. This guy comes over the top again as a re-steal, um, which is huge. I mean, it's just 2,000% aggression here. And this time, because he's gaining on him, uh, he lets it go. Yeah, it's dangerous. This guy's this guy's coming on strong, and again, you know, we're we're hanging out <laughs> with yeah, our probably I don't know forty big blinds still. So here you go again, right? This guy three X's, all right. This guy re steals all in, and let's see if he's able to bet fold, bet fold, bet fold fourteen times in a row. Jesus, what? Wow. All right, so we'll go ahead and <laughs> blue tag him as well. <laughs> And again, you guys are just seeing that. Yeah, I'm kind of hanging out here. We got um, 600 is a big, and I'm not sure exactly what our small is. JQ, let's see what happens. No antis. Oh, okay. That's clear enough. And this time we flat, and we flop top pair, and against this guy, that's just enormous. So. Will either half or shove. I think I'll half pot bet this after his check, and if he comes over the top, then I call everything. But he's been pulling that shit against this guy. It's not going to happen against us, more than likely. Uh, he flats. Okay, he missed. He would have missed his flush draw. You know, king sucks if he's on it, but you know that's that's how that looks. If he's got the king, we got hosed. Um, oh my god! Or of course he flopped with his Jackson 5 the full house ah, that's just so freaking typical <laughs> Jack 5 offsuit flops it um, I mean if you're paired it's over 400 to 1 right flopping the full, the full house and we just we just got hosed all of a sudden the pressure's back on back on us and this guy here playing the maniac style actually got lucky this guy laid down a bit too much um, was gonna show you guys what we were looking at there um, and I figured we were actually very very good we're at 10 big blinds now this guy folds we shove and shit maybe we're taking down fourth place here that's unfortunate um, seriously unfortunate <laughs> You know, we got the guy dominated pre-flop, 70% ahead. Um, we got the jack queen, he's got the jack five. We both flopped the jack, which is in and of itself mathematically, yeah, highly unlikely. And yeah, it's like seven to one against. Bit more. And yeah, not only that, but he also flops the, uh, the full to boot. And yeah, here we go. This guy hasn't done anything yet, so just keep this in mind, guys. He's uh, he's not sitting out, but that means he's really, really tightened up. So when this guy does play, he's on a much stronger hand. He just min raises here, and we're gonna let that go. Um, yeah, this guy got pushed around pretty hardcore. This guy got lucky as hell. Yeah, that's poker, guys. That's how it works out. Uh, so now we're back in the fight. You know, uh, at eleven big blinds, shove fold here, four-handed. And the king twos. We're just gonna let that go straight. We're not gonna we're not gonna shove that even against this guy here. I wanna have an ace or a pair when I'm shoving open versus the uh, the fellow small stacker. Yeah, it's a huge swing, right? Inside of no time flat. So yeah, so that would have been our stack size. 
Uh, King 10 is good enough versus this guy. And yeah, we got our Broadway here at 11. Big, four-handed. And we shove under the gun versus the guy that's going to call us down a lot lighter. Go and we play on. Let's give me increase our stack a bit. 33 is. Yeah. <laughs> Flipping against most. And we can get 600 on a call here. We're getting just under 3 to 1. He re raises all in. And when we fold, and this guy probably calls, right? If he gets knocked out, we get an extra 60 euros for just hanging out. And that's that's the idea of the folds here. Even though the threes might be good against these two guys, we'll see. I don't think the threes are good against this dude, but maybe wrong. He's thinking about it. It wasn't a snap call. Hmm. Wow, so he min bet folds. That's unexpected. 36, we'll also let go. And again, guys, keeping a you know, keeping a tab on your um, Yeah, on your levels. It's going up to eight hundred here shortly enough. And we'll have a full twenty-four minutes here before it gets to a grand. Um, before we're at six big blinds. Uh, he shoves again and yeah, just really unfortunate again. It would have been nice if this guy would have called him down a little lighter. Uh, so we wouldn't have taken that big bad beat. Again, when you see the maniac, yeah, accumulating chips like that, that's never, never a good thing. Yeah, again, you know, we were we were right at 40 big blinds more or less here when we took that huge bad beat, and yeah, what to say? That's uh, it's it's a huge difference in payout. Um, now we're down to again, yeah, just 11 big blinds. Let's see what went down. Fives get it in just behind or just ahead. Ace hits. Yeah, we might be looking at three players here. We are. So ace holds and we're down to 3p. So next player to bust <laughs> uh, gets 300 euros and then it's a huge. I mean it's a huge hike. It's 200 euros right for a, a zero buy-in. That's that's enormous. So it's it's in five and then eight. So three, five, and eight. Just keep that in mind, guys. He shoves right, and this is fantastic when he shoves and this guy calls because then all of a sudden just by hanging out again we get 200 euros. And come on, don't bet fold again. Jesus, that's so weak. Um, I mean, 15 times in a row, that's just, you can't even understand that. But this guy folds, we shove with our stack here, three handed. And uh, we could probably shove it here, but I don't know that he's going to let that go here. And our ace, our weak ace, is, is pretty far behind. So I'm going to wait for a better spot. Um, he two and a half times this, this bet. And we would have flopped. Yeah, we would have flopped the nut flush draw on the inside straight draw. <laughs> it would have been nice. Um, but again, it would have been a draw. And let's see what happens. This, again, it's better if this guy if this guy stacks off and we're the last two men standing. And there's our ace. Put him all in. Come on. 11K right now. That's what I do. <laughs> Only four, so he wants to get paid. Um, four. Well, again, that's good for us. I mean, this guy stacks off like that. Uh, we're at 10 here, and I'm just going to shove with my suited 10 jack. And, wow, shit, that's not good. So he calls. This guy should actually fold here in general, unless he's got a really strong holding. Looking for running clubs, Jack or the 10. Come on, one time. Wow, we hit. Unreal. We actually hit a river. It's normally the other way around, guys, if you've seen the other videos that we've been playing here at our triple seven challenge. Um, yeah, actually, we, we had two big suckouts. That's, that's nice. But I mean, the biggest, the biggest swing was, of course, when we, we thought we were good winning that value bet. The value shove, actually, and this guy had actually flopped with a jack five offsuit. Just the the meanest, meanest flop possible. I mean, it's just off the chain. Um, uh, he bets, we re raise with our a7 offsuit here and take it down, giving him a bit of his own medicine. And that's really good. This guy's at 4k now. And we're hoping again to catch another 200 euros by 
hopefully being able to hang out and let this guy check out here. Come on, shove it. You call it. Nice. I can't imagine this. With all this history here, I can't imagine him not calling that. Nah, okay, gets it behind, 30% behind him. Possible split. There it is. Uh, it's good that he didn't he didn't uh, double up there. That's that's good for us. Again, when you get down to th three players, you know you're looking at the the relative difference here, and it's you know it's 500 euros between third and first, and 200 euros between the next guy that busts, and that's what's at the forefront of our minds right now. Um, he shoved it, and it's a clear fold. And again, why not why not use a calculator here? We've got 12, 7, 6, 0. Let's go and plug in 800. You know we're at we're at 16 big blinds here, and all right, we're heads up. 